I find that the public health training does help in my medical school training in that the things that I learn in medicine, I can ground into a real world context and get to understand patients for the actual realities that they face as opposed to just their symptoms. I know that the majority of someone's health outcomes are not determined by the 15 minutes that you spend in the exam room with a doctor, but really come from the resources that you have available to you in your community. So being able to hopefully one day um, completely understand, or to the best that I can, health from both ends, both from the intimate patient doctor interaction, as well as the population health perspective would lead to a very busy, albeit very fulfilling career. Research at uh, Tulane has really opened up several doors for me and also given me an opportunity to meet people that I would have never met. As a medical student, we're taking medical courses and I think you're around sort of the same people a lot of the time and that's, that's okay and that's great for people focused on that. But I think for people with some extra interests in healthcare, uh, meeting other people can give you different approaches and a more uh, holistic or multi-dimensional view of patient care. I chose Tulane's MD and PH program for a very specific reason, and that's because I plan to pursue a career in infectious disease. I have an extremely long-standing interest in ID, um, and that was the driving force behind my decision to come to Tulane and to particularly apply to their MD and PH program. Uh, one of the other reasons I chose the MD and PH program was because you can complete the program in four years. I worked um, doing research at the National Institutes of Health for two years prior to medical school, and um, getting that combined degree in four years was a huge draw for me. I know more immediately in my future when it comes to residency, fellowship, um, and thereafter I plan to continue to do research and so continue to use the skill set and the knowledge base that I'm developing um, when it comes to research study design and statistical analyses, the computer packages, all of that. I intend to continue to do research and so I think that is one of the ways that I plan to use my degree. But then also one of my um, future interests are, is to either become a hematologist oncologist or a cardiologist and one of the big aspects of those fields of medicine is clinical trials and so um, clinical trial design is something that I'm very interested in and more specifically when it comes to minorities um, there's been a severe lack of minority representation in clinical trials and so one of my goals is to bridge the gap between the community and the research side. Part of what I learned from my MPH training is not just about the inequities that certain communities face and how they face them, but also how to collaborate with those communities and how to build trust and how to have humility and the importance of recognizing learning from people who are affected. And I can bring that into a clinical context. Those are skills that would be um, essential to building a patient relation, a doctor patient relationship, which has shown again and again to lead to better patient outcomes, better patient adherence, less physician burnout, more effective diagnoses, and all in all just makes you a more effective doctor. On the flip side, I think that my medical training will feed into my public health um, career of being in such a prestigious field as medicine would allow me to serve as a better advocate for the affected populations that I intend to serve in public health. So it would allow me to better execute the ideas that affected communities want to see in their um, community, whatever interventions it might be, whether it's providing a medical perspective to those interventions or conducting research to better understand their challenges, or in general, just using my platform as a medical professional to amplify their voices in a policy, um, Stand, from a policy standpoint, I think all of those ways kind of feed into each other such that uh, public health and medicine just leads to a very fulfilling career. I think the public health program has helped me in a lot of ways. I think framing my approach to patient care for one um, on third year medicine wards, I think approaching the patient outside of just clinically, there are a lot of other things going on with the patient. For example, access to health care and again, going back to lifestyle, what they're doing for diet and physical activity. I think the public health course has really taught me about that holistic approach in addition to the rigorous clinical and laboratory approach to medicine. So I think that's for one. 
Um, in addition, I think you're always exposed to new ideas when you do a dual degree program. The main piece of advice I have for incoming students interested in the MD and PH program is to start your courses early. So for example, uh, as an MD and PH student, you're able to take your core five courses before starting medical school, and that alleviates a uh, coursework burden during, during your consequent four years. I think it would be a good idea to take public health courses the semester before your uh, med school starts. So I came in July, um, did a couple of courses in the MPH department that I got my degree in. And I think that helped me meet a lot of new classmates, get acclimated with the city, and um, also have a network of friends before med school even starts. So I think um, I was ready to hit the ground running in August.